Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my favorite chess games of all times and in this chess game we have Emmanuel Lesker with the white pieces and his opponent is Johan Boer. This is one of the immortal chess games in the chess history, one of the massive chess games of all times. So this chess game it was played in Amsterdam in 1889. So Emmanuel Lesker, one of the greatest of all times, starts the game with pushing the f-pawn and this is the bird's opening. And then e3 and this is known as the Lesker variation of the bird's opening. So probably Emmanuel Lesker was the first player who played this opening so it was a novelty at the time. Knight to f6, b3, e6, developing the bishops. And as you can see, Lesker's bishops are already pretty aggressive looking. b6, knight to c3, bishop to b7, knight to f3, developing the knights and then castling. So both players are simply developing their pieces. Knight goes back and then c5, Emmanuel Lesker is activating his knight in the king side, developing the queen and then knight in. Exchanging, capturing back with the bishop, defending the queen and after pushing the pawn, black is hoping to checkmate Emmanuel Lesker. That doesn't sound too realistic, isn't it? Queen to e2, a6, and then knight to h5 by Emmanuel Lesker. Knight takes on h5, so there was pressure, as you can see, on f6. So black simply captured the knight. And maybe queen takes knight is expected. What would you do in this position? Well, Emmanuel Lesker didn't capture the knight. He played bishop takes on h7. What a shot by Emmanuel Lesker. This is the Greek gift. We have king takes on h7. Of course, if not capturing the knight, if moving the king, uh, that is going to be basically game over because queen takes knight and this is losing Actually, there is no sensible defense. Probably black is going to get checkmated. And there is no sensible defense in this variation. So this is why black has to accept the sacrifice. But now watch this. Queen takes on h5. And now king goes back. And now what would you do in this position? Maybe lifting the rook, swinging the rook. And then checkmating the king is the idea of Lesker. But out of the blue, Emone Lesker picked his bishop. And he sacrificed his second piece, his second bishop out of nowhere. And he's threatening checkmate too. So king takes on g7. And now checking the king, we have king to h7. Of course in this position, king goes down is not ex uh, recommended. Because of checkmate and black is getting checkmated. And there is no defense. So king over and now lifting the rook and Emmanuel Lesker is threatening checkmate in two moves. Double bishop sacrifice, opening the king side and unleashing an unstoppable attack by Emmanuel Lesker. So black pressed the panic button, black pushed the pawn and black is defending with the queen. Lesker is checking the king, the only sensible defense and now capturing the queen. Bang. King takes on h6, okay black uh, defended the checkmate thread. But, uh, but I can easily say that most of the modern chess grandmasters would resign in this position, but not Boer. He was a pretty stubborn chess player. By the way, he was the Austrian chess champion at the time. Austrian chess master. So pretty decent chess player, but Emmanuel Lesker was simply toying his opponent. Now everything is going from bad to worst for Boer. Lesker played queen to d7, forking the bishops, and now black is losing a piece, king up, rook over, and Lesker is easily defending the queen and now checking the king and then capturing the pawn, and we have bishop to g7, this opened the f-file, this is completely losing for black, I think capturing the pawn is not going to be a good idea because of queen to e6, both attacking the bishop and the f-pawn is a pinned, threatening checkmate, and there is no sensible defense in this position. If you simply push the pawn, then queen takes bishop, I believe, is losing because the f-pawn is going to be pinned. So this is why. In this position, bishop to g7. And then 
E6 by Lesker there is enormous pressure on the F pawn defending with the rook. Queen to G6 by Emmanuel Lesker. Every move of Lesker is cool. F6 and now who rook takes on F6 a smashing move by Lesker. He sent a lightning bolt to his opponent. Bishop takes, queen takes on f6, king over. And now watch this. Emmanuel Lesker is winning the rook by force. Beautiful stuff. Checking the king. Only move. Checking the king. Only move. One of the only moves. And then Lesker captured the rook. And this is all over for black. Lesker has three extra pawns. Also he has the queen. This is all over for black. Who rook down, capturing the pawn, capturing the pawn, pushing the pawn. Lesker captured the pawn. He said, enough of this nonsense. And then black resigned. <laughs> if capturing the queen with the rook, capturing back. And this is funny because white has five extra pawns. This is massive. This is getting crushed. What a crushing, incredible chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. So this was the final move, final uh, move of this chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. And after this move, John Hermann Boer resigned. What a beautiful, incredible chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. Double bishop sacrifice, incredible stuff. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more beautiful chess games from the history of chess. This was an immortal chess game. This was one of the most beautiful chess games of Emmanuel Lesker and also of all times in the history of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.